Hello, I'm going to make a brief video on choosing restaurants and planning on how to eat when you go out to eat. So first of all, you need to plan ahead. You can always try to swing it, just get a meat entree. I personally think the safest option is a burger patty. Why? Because you can ask them to clean the grill and they don't need to cook with oil to cook burger patties. Usually they just throw them on the grill. So personally, burger patties are the easiest, safest option. My favorite places to get burger patties that are like fast food joints, Wendy's is number one, McDonald's, Culver's, In-N-Out is good, Cookout is good, Char Grill is probably good. Never had Char Grill plain, but they have good burgers. And I always just say I'm allergic to seed oils and I'm allergic to gluten. I just want the meat, no oil. Can you just cook it on a clean grill? You might have to wait a couple of extra minutes for them to clean off the grill and cook your patties fresh, but it's worth it because you'll have peace of mind. You won't run into seed oils. I also ask for no seasoning if that's possible. So like McDonald's literally puts sugar in their salt. Now they use that one on the french fries and I have paranoia that they will use it on the burgers too. <laughs> So it's not like I'm gonna die if I run into a little bit of sugar or a little bit of seed oil, but the seed oil definitely changes the way I feel. I don't feel as optimal. So that's the one I'm super particular about. Now, when you're going to a restaurant out to eat, first of all, think of what your options are. Once you've picked a restaurant, I encourage you to go online. So I'm just gonna show you on my other phone here. Type in the restaurant, find the location that you're going to, and then find the little tab. It's usually at the very bottom that says nutrition info. This is where they have to disclose everything. They have to tell you. And so you're going to see very detailed info on every entree. Okay. So say I'm thinking, well, maybe I'll get a couple of sides of chicken and shrimp, like the fajitas without the carbs. So I'm going to go and look for, you know, some of those examples, get past the beverages. We're all just getting water, right? And you will see they have quesadillas, fresh guacamole, fresh mozzarella, fried mozzarella, boneless wings. Okay. Here's a good example. So what if I'm thinking, okay, what about wings? Well, buffalo is usually lower sugar, right? And so I'm going to scroll all the way over to see the carbs. The buffalo only has two grams of carbs. So the buffalo wings are low carb, but what are they fried with? That's what you need to ask because they do have fat and they are going to be fried. So that's, that helps you to narrow down the amount of questions you have to ask. But I know that the buffalo sauce is lower carb, but it probably has seed oils. You could look at the bone in wings plain. Okay. 36 grams of fat, zero carbs, zero sugar, 72 grams of protein. That's a good option, but what are they frying it in? Are they frying it in tallow or seed oils? Probably seed oils. Buffalo Wild Wings is a restaurant where some locations they fry in tallow. You have to be sure it's at your location. It's not all of them. Okay, I'm going to keep going down just to look for examples. Let's see. Okay, another good option is steak because again, they can just grill it without oil. There are some meat entrees that will come pre-marinated. So the chicken sometimes is pre-marinated. So if I look at the steak, it's very low carb. And these come with avocado and it's obviously only the avocado coming because it's 12 or 13 carbs. So very low carb, the steak would be a good option. How about the salmon? So the ancho salmon has 41 grams of carbs. Salmon does not have carbohydrates, so the ancho sauce, you could get the salmon without the sauce. I'm going to keep going down. Let's just see what the add shrimp option looks like. Add shrimp has one carb, 11 grams of protein. Shrimp would probably be a good option. So the question that I would have is how do you cook the shrimp? Is it grilled? Can you do it without oil? Okay, now we're at the chicken sandwiches and all of these come with 
you know, some type of sauce. The bacon avocado chicken sandwich, 75 carbs. So in my head, I'm thinking how many carbohydrates would equate from the bun that this, or the bread the sandwich is on plus the toppings. It doesn't seem like they would marinate something for a chicken sandwich, but then again, you would be surprised. Let's see, sides, for those of you that do some low carb sides, let's look at these. The steamed broccoli is probably the safest option, eight grams of carbohydrates. That's probably a very safe option, but not really fun to eat when you go out to eat. Who wants steamed broccoli? But it's steamed, so it's safe, there's no oil. So you just have to be sure to say, please don't add anything, just the broccoli. Classic ribeye, zero carbs, there you go. If I went to Chili's, I would get the ribeye. The surf and turf ribeye, one carb. I take it back. If I went to Chili's, I would get the surf and turf ribeye. That would be great. Add seared shrimp. Okay, so we know that the shrimp is seared. What are they searing it on or in? They can probably just sear it on the grill without any oil. So you would have to ask for that. But it is zero carb. Fajitas. Okay, so here's where it says all the options. Fajita, peppers and onions, grilled chicken, grilled steak, seared shrimp. And all of those are very low carb. So you could ask for those as the side and you just wanna be sure to say no oils. So this is something that you can do to be more prepared ahead of time. You'll think of questions to ask, you'll think of options that you're considering before you sit down at the table with your friends so that you can actually talk with them and communicate with them without being too distracted by what you're going to eat. My other tip is to call ahead. That way you can talk with someone and communicate very clearly that you have food intolerances and they'll take it more seriously if you call ahead because if you're going to a restaurant during a dinner rush and you tell your waiter, he might not even hear you fully. If you're yelling across the table, you don't know what the environment or atmosphere will be. So it's really ideal if you can call ahead, ask to speak with a manager or the chef. Make sure the chef that you talk to is the one that will be there later when you're there. And ask him, you know, what is the best way to be sure that I don't get any seed oils on my food? And then they can direct you from there. But if you can give them a heads up that you're on your way, that can really help. And those are my tips. The other one is to eat before you go because you might not be able to buy enough food for you to really be satiated if you eat an all meat diet. Uh, Tyler and I pretty much only go to Brazilian steakhouses because it's the only place we get a bang for our buck and they have a lot of options without seed oils. So yes, it's a little more expensive, but you really get your money's worth and we don't go out to eat a lot. So if you have any tips or tricks, comment below and I hope this helps.